I'm Christina Howard outside of York University where 115 Saudi Arabian students students won't be returning to classes this September. The Saudi Arabian government announced effective immediately that it was ending scholarships for some 16,000 Saudi students studying in Canada. That's at Canadian colleges and universities. It's the latest step in an impasse that is certainly growing that now includes the end of air travel between the two countries, new trade barriers, and it all started because of a tweet. Saudi Arabia expelled the Canadian ambassador on Monday and froze all new business with Ottawa over its criticism of the ultra-conservative kingdom's arrest of women's rights. The criticism was in a tweet by Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Freeland. In an August 2nd tweet, she wrote, Very alarmed to learn that Samar Badawi, Rafe Badawi's sister, has been imprisoned in Saudi Arabia. Canada stands together with the Badawi family in this difficult time, and we continue to strongly call for the release of both Rafe and Samar Badawi. That was followed by an August 3rd tweet by Foreign Affairs Canada, which read, Canada is gravely concerned about additional arrests of civil society and women's rights activists in Saudi Arabia, including Samar Badawi. We urge the Saudi authorities to immediately release them and all other peaceful human rights activists. Rafe Badawi was arrested in Saudi Arabia in 2012 and later sentenced to 1,000 lashes and 10 years in prison for insulting Islam while blogging. While it's unclear the impact this latest move will have on universities and colleges, it will be profound. International students typically pay between thirty to $80,000 a year in tuition and living expenses in Canada, money that schools have come to rely on. In a statement, York University spokesperson Janice Walls writes, While we await further information, our media focus will be on supporting our students. We will be reaching out to them over the next few days. A spokesperson for the Ministry of Training, Colleges and Universities tells City News, We are currently monitoring the situation and assessing the impact to Ontario's post-secondary institutions. Now, we reached out to several Saudi student groups and have not yet heard a response, but this story does continue to develop. The Saudi foreign minister will be holding a media conference tomorrow to discuss the diplomatic tensions.